Greetings world. We are anonymous. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us. It looks like Trump's fake news campaign has hit Canada. Back in March of this year conservative leader Doug Ford was angry and was making up numbers and attacking reporters throughout. And instead of answering questions directly he made significant false claims in hopes of getting away with it. Then when an outrageous 2014 tweet from a counselor Ford Twitter account made the rounds in March its vile contents fit all too perfectly into the view so many have of Ford. In the tweet, the author mocks Olivia Chow, then a candidate for the Toronto mayor, for her accent. The tweet read maybe Olivia Chow should use the Toronto library to learn English, such not mayor material. Anyone from the Ford family is. It is unquestionably racist. It is also very much fake. The Councillor Ford account was transparent satire at least when it was active. It's now suspended. But that hasn't stopped screen grabs of the tweet from being widely shared and discussed. We know that. Thanks to Google's Trends tool which shows that over the past week in Ontario, the six fastest rising search queries related to Doug Ford have been about that tweet, ranging from Doug Ford English to Doug Ford racist tweet. And then recently you may have seen a female reporter with a microphone in hand reporting breaking news about progressive conservative leader Doug Ford. Pretty normal stuff during a political campaign. Except that the reporter is not a reporter. She is in fact a senior member of Ford's staff, his personal assistant in fact, and the shots of Ford mingling with ordinary voters are carefully staged scenes with Ford supporters. That's right, Doug Ford has brought fake news to the Ontario election. Ford's team justifies the showbiz antics by complaining that the media doesn't give him a fair shake in their coverage. Nice try. What the Ford team is trying to avoid is the scrutiny and accountability that should be part of any democratic election. During one of the leadership debates Ford said that the peace needed a leader who would stand up to media. What they got with Ford is a leader who runs away from the media. His campaign to date has been a series of pre-arranged photo ops and cliché written speeches. We expect a certain amount of staging in any campaign. But if a candidate doesn't have the ability to explain their policies and defend their positions, voters may well wonder if he's qualified for the job. We all remember the stuff that was brought forward about his late brother Rob Ford when he was in office. There is no uncertainty that the Fords love drama and the spotlight. At this point Liberals ask Elections Ontario to investigate Doug Ford's campaign videos that the governing party says might flout election finance rules. The Liberals say Thieve asked the chief electoral officer to look into Ford Nation Live, which produces TV news style videos. The website features news about Ford's campaign with staffers speaking directly to the camera and interviewing supporters using Ford Nation branded microphones. There's a note at the bottom of the website saying it has been authorized by the CFO for the Ontario Progressive Conservative Party. But the Liberals allege Ford is trying to pass off political advertising as media coverage, noting that the videos aren't identified as having been created by Ford's party. There's an effort to pass the videos off as news and people who see them casually may be not paying close attention. Or looking at them with a questioning eye might not pick up on the fact that these are just Tory ads. Ford mentioned Ford Nation Live, saying that it would provide people at home with an opportunity to follow him on the campaign trail. So why would Ford mention that the Ford Nation Live website will follow his campaign trail? But yet the Liberals are noting that the videos aren't identified as having been created by Ford's party. I personally think it is Ford's party. And like every other politician is promising stuff and saying anything just to get Ray elected. 
but doesn't want to admit what he is doing is wrong so that the videos don't get removed. So that several people can see them. Elections Ontario has said the organization does not comment on complaints they receive or investigations they undertake. Therefore he has nothing to lose regardless if he is part of it or not since Elections Ontario doesn't do anything about it. We are anonymous. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.